So I just recorded the last video, and I looked at it, and I was like, wow, I look like shit. Oh well. Too bad I don't really care. Alright, so, the next set of questions. What's your favorite kind of music? Everything except Screamo. Right now, I'm on an Ed Sheeran, One Direction, Ole Mer, Cher Lloyd kick. I mean, basically, English people. They're sexy as hell. Who's your favorite singer or band? Listed previously, One Direction, Ed Sheeran, Ollie Murs, and Cher Lloyd. What's your favorite album? Mm. Oh, another favorite singer I have is Luke Bryan. Country singer. He's sexy. Favorite album? Probably One Direction's album. What's your favorite song? Right now, it's Grade 8 by Ed Sheeran. And also, I really like Everything About You by One Direction. Do you like to sing karaoke? When I'm alone, yes. When I'm around people, no. Are you a good dancer? Hell no. I'm uncoordinated as hell. Uh, do you like musicals? Yes. <sighs> uh, has a song ever made you cry? Yes. Uh, if your life was a song, what would be the title? Oh shit. If you could be a particular singer or musician, who would you be? I'd be Niall Horan, so I could look at myself naked. Plain and simple. What was your favorite game to play as a child? I liked Crack the Egg on my Trampoline. Yeah. Do you play video games now? No. What's your favorite gambling game? I don't gamble. Do you prefer card games or board games? Board games. Do you ever play drinking games? Actually, last weekend I was in Peterborough. No, not last weekend. The weekend before that. Two weekends ago I was in Peterborough for testing. And me and my mom decided we were going to drink. And I played the One Direction drinking game. And that was fun. Are you any good at chess? No. Have you ever played Dungeons and Dragons? No. Did you like it? I probably wouldn't. Do you ever play Solitaire when you're bored? I used to. And then I was like, you anger me! <laughs> so, I stopped playing. Are you going to Trivial Pursuit? No. Have you ever been on a game show? No. Dilemmas. Would you rather be rich or healthy? Healthy. Would you rather be good looking or rich? Good looking. Do you believe in the death penalty? Depends. If they're able to be rehabilitated, yes. I believe... No. No! <laughs> if they're able to be rehabilitated, no. But if there's someone like, I don't know, let's say Ted Bundy, who escaped from jail twice, why didn't you execute him after the first time he escaped? It's for people who murder countless amounts of people and who aren't getting better. Do you believe in... Oh, I already read that question. Have you ever seen Sophie's Choice? No. If so, do you think she made the right choice? Well, I hope she made the right choice. Uh... How would you like to know the day you're going to die? Oh, would you like to know the day before you, you're going to die ahead of time? Why or why not? Uh, yeah, I'd like to know so I could say goodbye to people. Would you rather have super strength or super intelligence? Super intelligence. Uh, would you rather have the power to be invisible or the power to read minds? read minds. Would you rather spend the last year of your life without a significant other, or would you rather a partner who is extremely difficult? I'd rather spend it alone. Would you rather spend life in prison or be executed? I'd rather be executed. Should marijuana be legalized? Recently I've changed my opinion on this. 
Now I would say no. Well, actually, no. I would say yes. Because when it be legalized, people wouldn't think it would be that cool anymore, so less people would do it. And less people would be idiots because of it. Um, yeah. Um, more questions. What do you do in your spare time? Computer, writing fanfiction, reading fanfiction, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. What one thing are you most proud of? My photography. Tell me about your family. My family. This is going to be the last question because I'm probably going to have to talk about them for a while. My family, I have me. I'm 18 years old. And then I have my brother. He's 16 years old. His name is Benjamin. I love the child dearly, but he's a pain in the ass. And he's a bully. He is 6, 2 or 3. Like 240, probably 250 pounds. So he's bigger than me. I'm 5'11", and I'm like... 200. I know I'm fat, okay, guys? And then, I have my mom. My mom is kind of a little overbearing. And... She latches on, and she always needs to know what you're doing, and how you're feeling, and if you don't want to talk to her... All she wants to do is talk to you. If you want to talk to her, she doesn't really listen to you. My dad... Uh, he's a farmer. Uh, born and raised on Manitoulin Island. The biggest freshwater island in the world. And... We don't really talk. He doesn't really talk much. To talk to him, you have to play 20 questions with him, literally. And so, I don't really have a good relationship with him. So that's who lives upstairs. Well, also, 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 I've got two dogs. My dogs are named Stuart Gilligan. My brother named him after the show on Family Guy. The baby. Mm -hmm. He's a Shih Tzu, and he's all black, except for a little white tuffet under his chin. So he's called a t tuxedo breed. And then I have Scott Answer. And if you watch my previous question video, you would know that that's the show, my favorite childhood show. And I named it after it when I was five because it was getting canceled. And I was really sad. And in my basement, my grandma lives down there. Now, me and my grandma don't always get along. She doesn't really think before she speaks, and she's, um, she can't read or write, and I don't think she's really all there, so we fight a lot because she's mean to me. She called me fat the other day, and I was trying to explain something to her today, and she's like, no, you're wrong, no, and I was like, can you just let me finish, and she wouldn't let me finish, I got really mad at her. And then I have my two uncles, Darwin and Adam. They are 22 and 23 years old. Yes, I have uncles that close in age to me. It's kind of awkward sometimes having uncles that young. And they're kind of screwed up in themselves. But I get over it. Um, and then my grandma has two dogs, Abby and Foxy. And she has a cat named Christopher. No, actually... Same as Christmas. Because my Uncle Adam brought it to her on Christmas. He found it in a box. And she doesn't remember names well. So she decided to name it Christmas. Because it was around Christmas time. And so she named it Christmas. And now she calls it Christopher. I don't know. I don't really understand. And I've got a whole whack of other family members. But they're not that interesting. They're really not. Where do you think he'll be in five years? Sorry. <laughs> I'm just bored. I want to answer more. Uh, just finish. 
finished college in a relationship, working crime scene investigation. Hopefully getting married soon. Uh, would you like to take a vacation anywhere in the world? Where would you take a vacation anywhere in the world? I'd probably want to go back to Cuba. Uh, the who influenced you most when you were a child? My auntie Jen. But now I don't like her because she's mean to me now. Who influences you the most now? Probably my pastor's wife. She's pretty sick. What is the most daring or dangerous thing you've ever done? I'm not really a daring type. I think the most illegal thing I did was I stole letters off of a sign. What person in history would you most like to meet? Ooh. Uh. I don't know. If I say I want to meet Hitler, people would hate me, but I really want to meet him and be like, what the fuck's your problem, dude? Uh. Blah, 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 blah. What's the sexiest part of a man? Clavicles! I love clavicles. Yeah. I need to stop because this is another long video. I hope you love me, okay? Um, bye. I need to, uh, see? My phone is... Oh, you're gonna stop flashing now? See? See? I've got a tweet. So, I need to answer it. So, bye. Love you.